Hi everyone, I'm Judy and today I'm going to be baking for you hot cross buns. Um, so first we're going to start with cooked meal, which is flour, 850 grams, which we have over here. Um, weighed out already. Okay. So I'm going to start sifting flour in, gently sifting it in. And then as it gets sifted in, we're going to start adding more stuff to it. So once the flour is done, we're going to put our icing sugar. So here comes our icing sugar, which is 1.5 cups of icing sugar. Here we go. <clears throat> so once that's done, we're going to put cinnamon. which is going to be three teaspoons ground cinnamon. So at the end of it, <coughs> this is what you're going to be looking at. So this is your flour, cinnamon and icing sugar. Then I'm going to be adding baking powder and, <coughs> and a pinch of salt. Then we proceed to put um, oops, 150 grams of butter into the mixture and you make bread crumbs. So you try and get the butter in as much as you can until it looks like bread crumbs which is pretty easy. Here we go. Done. <coughs> the next step is to take 400 ml of milk, one egg, and bicarbonate of soda. But before we do that, we're putting in our raisins. Okay, so now we're going to put an egg inside 400 ml of milk and we're going to make sure it really gets tender. We're going to look it like this. So inside your egg and milk mixture you're going to put your bicarb. is two teaspoons of bicarb. Great. Now with your dry and wet mixture you slowly pull <coughs> you slowly put your wet mixture in. Usually I, I like to make a parting in the middle so it's so it can get in everywhere and then I start working the <coughs> the wet the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients until it becomes a dough. So a little bit, little bit at a time. Here you go. So some people don't like raisins. For those who don't like raisins, you can add any dried fruit if you want, or you can add in a mixed fruit. But today we're using raisins. <coughs> okay, so now we've rolled it into a nice dough. Um, it should be workable but still soft. Um, and we're going to start cutting it into, into portions. So, here is your first hot cross bun before it's been baked. And we're just going to put them on our tray 